sneaky husbands, two-timing wives, wives, bad boyfriends, and even worse girlfriends. <laughs> they thought they could get away with it. But now, now they're about to get busted. You know, <laughs> there's a lot of ways that people can cheat. You can cheat on your diet. Yeah. Yeah, always. You can cheat at the blackjack tables. Ooh, not smart. You can even cheat on a test by having your evil twin take it for you. Ooh, I've always wanted an evil twin. You know the evil ones are always smart. Aren't you the evil one? I think so. Probably the worst kind of cheating is cheating on your significant other. Oh, Oh, gosh. And if that ever happens to you, we want you to know that this show is there to support you. Mm -hmm. We would never cheat on you unless there was a younger, slimmer, more attractive listener. Well, you know. (laughs) What are we going to do? It's an upgrade. Yeah, we're human. What can you do? (laughs) Until then, we're here to help you with your heartbreak by doing a fun little segment called Busted. God, you just have to say it so aggressively, don't you? It is aggressive. Busted. It's a segment where you can tell everybody exactly how you caught your dumb partner being unfaithful. Yes. We already have a few listeners who called into the show ready to share their stories. By the end of this, one of two things will happen. We'll either all feel a little bit better inside, yeah. or we'll all lose hope in humanity, quit our jobs, and start working at NPR. Can't, can't both things happen at the same time? Nope, it's only one okay. of them. Which is Dang it going to be? Let's go to the phones and find out. All right, who's this? Hey, this is Lewis. Hey, Lewis, tell us how you busted your significant other. So I was uh, driving over to my mom's house. I was returning some hedge clippers. And in the driveway, I saw my wife's car at my mom's house. And I was like, that's weird. I mean, they know each other, obviously, but... They don't get along. (laughs) It is the (laughs) mother-in-law. I was like, that's weird. Um, You know, I have a key to my mom's house, so I use it and go in. And there, on the couch, is my wife and a guy making out. Oh, my God. I thought for sure you were going to say my wife and my mom. And I thought this story was going to be, like, just crazy. Your wife was cheating on you at your mom's house? Yeah. (laughs) Did she hate her mother-in-law that much? Is that what was going on? No, not at all. Quite the opposite. So I'm standing there. I'm in shock. My wife stands up and says, this is all your fault. Oh. And I'm like, okay, how is this my fault? (laughs) (laughs) And apparently what happened is my mom thought that my wife could do better than me. And arranged for this to happen. What? What? And gave her the keys and let her, yeah. Hold on. Your mom set up your wife to cheat on you? Dude. Is that what you're saying? Disown that mother. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Oh, my God. Your mom was your wife's pimp. (laughs) That is so crazy. I don't know how we could possibly beat that story. I don't think we're trying to beat it. We're just trying to find some catharsis. I'm going to be disappointed in this next one. So let's let's go to Anna. (laughs) What's your lame story, Anna? Anna, Yeah. yeah. Tell us how you busted your significant other. So my boyfriend called me asking me to log into his email because he needed some kind of confirmation code from our cable service provider. Mm -hmm. So I jump on his laptop and I notice that there's an email in his inbox from the producers of a very well-known TV network, which I will not name, saying that he's been selected, congratulations, as a contestant for our dating reality show. Oh, well, good for him. That's awesome. (laughs) And now you're dating someone who's about to be famous. Yeah. Right, with a bunch of other women hanging all over him. Oh, Oh, yeah, I forgot about that part. terrible. I took it upon myself to just do him a solid, and I emailed the producers back saying that I'm really sorry this isn't going to work out because my gonorrhea is back. (laughs) Oh. You know, for health and safety reasons, I shouldn't, you know. I'm surprised Uh, they were like, don't worry, everyone has gonorrhea on the show. You're fine. Uh, (laughs) You should see our medicine cabinet. (laughs) Wow. That's good, though. That is amazing. That was solid. That was solid. Let's go to our next caller, Tiffany. Tell us how you busted your significant other. Oh, God. So a couple of years ago, I was out, and I happened to see my then boyfriend out on the street with this Mm -hmm. random girl. Uh And they were very comfortable. 
They were holding hands. They were touching each other's bums. They were... And he even, like, kissed her on the neck. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. So... (laughs) Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow it down. (laughs) So I went up, and I was like, what's going on? Like, I confronted them. And he got all shocked and, like, embarrassed. And he's like, what are you talking about? This is my cousin. Ew. Yeah. He's touching her butt. What? Ew. Was that true? <laughs> what kind of excuse is that? What kind of family is that? I know. I thought he was lying, but it turned out it really was his cousin. Oh. Ew. Oh. Ew. Well, at least he didn't cheat. Yeah, no, that's still no. cheating. <laughs> that's still cheating. It's worse than cheating. Yeah, no. Yeah, I thought it was worse. I was like, that is so gross. Oh, man. I mean, you were dating. Cousin? You, it, Jose, are you a cousin lover? What is <laughs> no, going on? It's family. Kiss your family. Well, no, I'm, not I'm, like that. I mean, it's just it's just a little bit of cousin love. Oh, yeah. You, just, you know, it. keep it in the family. <laughs> All right. Well, that was busted. Gosh. Remember, if you want to share your story about how you busted your significant other, you can always email the show or text us at 78592. Your phone tap's coming up right after.